click in the first half. And... Yeah, tr wanting to be patient and stay patient and, and uh, at some point hit a rhythm. And we were able to. Don't like how we started, like how we finished. A um, ton, of, ton of things to clean up. But uh, proud of our guys for, man, sticking together, staying together. And that's what everybody said on the sideline. And that's what I told them after the game, just how proud I was and we were that guys stayed together. You know, and, and knew that we just needed to play the next play and find ways to to make plays, and then we were able to. You make it a conscious point, hey, let's get the ball to Marvin, that, in, that last drive, and even into the second drive. And was, was that just how it worked out? <laughs> no, knew that knew kind of what we were getting in that, uh, that final drive. Um, and so wanted to force the ball to him to give him the opportunity to go make plays and get us down the field, and, and it worked out the way we wanted. How would you grade the offensive line? And can you talk a little bit about Anton and Tyler kind of switching back this week? Yeah, Anton's been a left tackle. He's played left tackle, so that was the more natural spot. Tyler uh, has played a little bit of both, and so moved him over. Thought that was the best thing for us up front. You know, got to continue to get better. You know, we had three sacks, but those three, they're not on the offensive line all the time. You know, everybody wants to talk about the old line from a sack standpoint, but there's a lot of things we can do from a QB standpoint, running back, skill, whatever it is. To help that process, and uh, at the end of the day, you know we got to strike, strain, and finish better, and that's the reality of it. And we will, uh, but that's that's going to be the message moving forward. Jeff, as a as a coach, you know you have those struggles, and then you go come out in the third quarter, and, and you know looks like a, a totally different offense. What is that for a teaching tool for you? And and being that this team's learning a new system, that you know that's something that you can use moving forward. I think it's huge that we're able to go. Win 33 to 3 and play the way we did. And it's, you know, Kent State did an unbelievable job in the first half, frustrated that we didn't play the way we needed to play. Um, but the fact that we can walk away from this and win by 30 points and understand that there are so many lessons to learn is huge for our growth as, a, as an offense, as a team, all those things. And so, Again, I'm proud of our guys for staying together, man, and uh, for being incredibly positive, playing the next play, and then giving us an opportunity to go have some success in the second half to to be able to learn lessons and, and at the end of the day, be 2-0. How hard is it to not get frustrated when you, I know it's easier said than done, before, right. but to not get frustrated when you, know, you go three and out several times, but they're just holding the ball, just eating clock up too, and you're just kind of getting antsy as an offensive side of the ball, wanting to get the ball back and take your shot at it again. Yeah, I think the like the biggest thing, and we've kept talking about that, you can't play fast, you can't play with tempo, you can't be aggressive unless you get the first first down. And once you get the first first down, you got a chance. And so if you don't do that, then you got no chance to play the way we want to play. So you got to be better on first down. When we're running the football, you can't gain one yard or, or whatever the case may be. You got to be better on first down to create some better third down situations. So that'll be the stress this week. Uh, toughness and, and run game is what's going to carry people on the road, you know, against a good good opponent next week, and that's the things we're going to be stressing. Marcus Granger got a role in the second half. What kind of see from him as far as what the difference was? Again, Marcus and EG. You know, EG had the explosive run where the exact same scenario in the first quarter presented itself, and EG gets tackled for a four-yard game, and then the exact same scenario presented itself in the third quarter, and he rolls off. I don't know how long it was, but probably a 45, 50 yarder. And so to me, that's just, again, staying with the plan, understanding, getting our guys in space one on one. They might make a couple, but we're going to make a couple too. And those couple are going to be chunks to give us a chance to go score touchdowns. I know a lot of times as an offense, when things aren't working, you, coaches always feel like it's close, like you're close to breaking through. Yeah. So what does that mean when you start off kind of tonight with Marvin and then you could just kind of keep stacking playmake, playmakers on top of that, whether it's Drake or uh, Eric Gray's 44-yard run or right. you know, j just being able to, to kind of get guys to see that? We talk about it all the time, but it's just all about playing the next play. You know, play each play independent of itself and finding ways to – put our guys in positions of success and let our guys go play fast and free and go win. And so when you do that, I think our guys understand that. They're going to continue to play. Again, the thing that I'm most proud about is how together we were as a unit, as a team, how positive guys were at halftime after we had just played the way we played. And so it, it, to me, it just shows some maturity. It shows some belief. It shows some togetherness and toughness and edge and and uh, and proud of that. Are you it sounds like you're saying a message kind of needed to be delivered and they were receptive of it. Yeah, and our, our guys, 
again, like it, there's a, it's a fine line. You know, it's a fragile game. We talk about it all the time. You got to respect the game and you got to go make plays. And that, that's the reality of it. And I, I got to do a great job and a better job of putting them in a position to make plays and stay out of third and longs and, and, uh, and be better on early downs too. Yeah, you have Daniel Parker last week, came in, caught yeah. a couple passes, but he's known for uh, run bluffing yeah. more, more so than pass catching ability. But can you talk about just the multifaceted uh, ability that he has for y'all's offense? Yeah, it's just it's good to have DP back. He be, brings such a physical presence to to us as a unit and as a football team. So uh, happy to have him back. He's feeling good and, and ready to roll. Two games into the year, do you feel like you've learned anything about the offense that you didn't maybe know before the season started so far? Yeah, I, th I think we learned a lot today uh, from the standpoint of not playing the way we want to play. And at the same time, finding guys that fought their butt off for each other to go make plays when they needed to make plays and then have the huge third quarter that we had. And uh, to me, that's that's learning an incredible lesson, you know, and understanding that, man, just trust it, play the next play, take care of the football, and we're going to be in a good spot. Okay, anything else? Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.